Hello all, we have got an Itzel 2324, organised by the Itzel Hunter. Thank you to them. We are playing Hisham. And I'm going to hop on in. Uh, we are USA, and we've got a nice big old hand of ops, and Captain Nart seems like a straightforward headline. So we will open 4 for 2 Yeah, and event capture nuts here. Yeah. Five year plan, yeah. That's fine. Uh, that's all good. Captured Nazi. So we've got Truman and Fidel. We have got five year plan, NATO and US Japan. We're ditching captured Nazi. And the headline. And the other cards are Vietnam Revolts and East European Unrest. Not a shabby opening hand. Let's see how I can completely muller it. We live in hope. Stop, Gov. Oh, that's no, okay, good. Well, no middle east scoring, and we can go coup counter coup. So let's see if they hit us in Iran. Ah, the dog has already begun the squeezing of the ball, so get used to that. Hello, you insistent animal. So, I mean, without Sokgov, the Iran coup seems like the likeliest thing that's going to happen here. But we shall see. Uh, hmm. Really taking the time to consider this opening move. Perhaps I don't do it enough. Who knows? But. Guess I'm broadly content with. Okay, so they, yeah, interesting. Didn't fancy Europe at all. That's a good result for us, because it's a nice juicy counter coup. Big, big, big. Yeah, I'm pretty big. And it also suggests they don't have any four op cards. So I suspect we will not see another coup right now. In which case, we can go into Malaysia and Pakistan with East European unrest. If they coup Panama, then I'd go Malaysia, Pakistan, Angola ahead of Decol or D style. Okay. Maybe they do have a four up card. Yeah, they really want that last coup. And it's a good thing they took it. So now we definitely positively go into Lebanon. So we'll go Lebanon, Malaysia, Angola. Yeah, that was a big old coup to finish.
neatly done for most of the season I was ready. So I'm glad I um, glad I played into Lebanon. And they don't have any... So I think we'll spread into Zaire. Uh, actually, what I'll do is I'll put one in Thailand so we can finish with Vietnam Revolt. I mean, I'm content with that. I probably wouldn't be eventing Fidel anyway. <laughs> so, we will space Fidel and fail. So, I like finishing with Vietnam Revolt, so we'll jam four into France <clears throat> once we see Suez go. Hisham was concerned that he'd be late because his tagine needed time to cook. So, very in favour of tagine taking precedence over board games, obviously. Okay. <clears throat> with no Korean War, and with Foremost and Revolution going on, I quite like putting him to the sword here. Although, maybe the best thing with Asia is just not to fight country count, right? <laughs> Alright, so our options are... Let's stop talking about food. Uh, go Lao... Indonesia. I think we want to. We still want to put one in South Korea because we don't want them to use Suez to convert. That'll do. I'm not happy about it necessarily, but. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. So, yeah, Suez and Formosa. They can use the China card. CI's gone. Probably won't. But if they want to jam three in Suez, uh, Suez, three into Korea, then I can more comfortably take France. Yeah, you could just drop CIA on a a AR3. So I don't think it was uh don't think it was a line I was prepared to pursue. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Doesn't quite I still like it, I think. And it means they have to use the China card. Okay. 
Either way, they have to use the China card, so I'm, I'm alright with that. I think. If they use the China card to take Japan, then we can play Vietnam Revolts more comfortably, after all. So what's the worst case scenario? If we play Vietnam Revolts and take Taiwan, they can duck and cover the headline and play the China card to take Thailand. But we are likely to be able to race them on country count. So let's work on the basis they're going to want to take a coup. This is a bit of a gamble. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Yeah, if they flip Thailand, it's still five, five. It's a gamble, but let's take it. I enjoy gambling, you may have noticed. We got Korean War, we got Duck and Cover, so that's fine. We could purge him. Truman, duck and cover. Korea war blockade. Yeah, we didn't get Indo-Pakistani war, which is a shame. NORAD. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're not going to get a coup in. We can take France without de Gaulle potentially and get Europe Dom, so do we purge here? Yeah, because if they do De Gaulle, we can and we duck and cover. Yeah, we purge them. Decal's a shame, but the purge helps a little. So, Asia is now problematic, officially, and Africa will be too. But unless they have nuclear test ban, they can't take France cleanly. So what? Thailand, uh, Algeria, Nigeria, Zaire, and I know they're, they're gunning Asia. And then influence. Okay, so we get the coup, but we're dominating Asia as the result. Uh, so, do we coup Algeria and press for French domination? Giving up, and if we roll a one, I think we queue Angola and we hope they don't have nuclear test ban specifically. Well, now Asia is seriously problematic, but at least we have Korean War. We'll be holding blockade. We don't have a card. We want a blockade away. But with Middle East and Asia the way they are, we now really want to get Europe domination, which is not great. So it goes. Just the one op. So we will go duck and cover three into France and we'll see whether they 
um, to call us. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we do need to take Malaysia and the Philippines, possibly. So take France and level up Asia. And they can't. The alternative is we use Truman Doctrine to take France, but if they now event de Gaulle. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go Warsaw Pact. We also want to level up Asia as well. I'm actually kind of all right with a De Gaulle if it happens. If they go two Yugoslavia, two Czechoslovakia, and then they put one in there and one in Greece with a three-up card to level up Europe, that's annoying. But they may just put two in at Burma or Afghanistan to go one up in Asia again. But I think we have little choice there. Yeah, okay. But they can't get four, which is fine. Yeah, that's good for us. So we cash Europe. We space Korean War. Well, maybe we just go Truman Doctrine. Well, that's okay. Put another one in France for sure. Or maybe we put one in Canada. Yeah. We'll wait and see if we get containment. Because if we get containment to finish, we can blockade away Korean War. Containment here would be pretty super. The Indo-Pakistani war, of course. Expecting it, of course. Right, so Space Korean War. Whole blockade. Hope we get dealt de Gaulle. No, but we get D-style, which is nice. And defectors. So I think we probably defect. They got Asia and Middle East, though. Nice. <sighs> Containment. But we got nuclear test ban. Did we get all the four op cards? Oh yeah, they got Marshall Plan. <coughs> Cambridge 5, they've got De Gaulle, we got D-Style, which we can blockade away. So reshuffle, and we got... They know we have Blockade, Nuclear Test Ban, Cambridge 5, and D-Style. They don't know we have Purge, they don't know we have Defectors, because they've just played it. So I think they're going to hit De Gaulle to start. NATO... Five-year plan. So five-year planning Asia or Middle East scoring out of their hand. 
would be nice. But I think we start with defectors. Yeah, I think defectors looks best rather than purge. Okay, if they play Europe's Growing, they're geniuses. I expect to see De Gaulle here more often than not. Maybe even remain in abdication to fight on country count. We've been blessed with, uh, with good hands. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd love to see Middle East scoring, but I expect to see De Gaulle. If they duck and cover Coup Lebanon, then we play into Jordan. They can't can't clear us out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we can flip Lao <clears throat> on our way to keeping Asia level. So not getting dominated in Asia will be important. Well, we got the result we wanted there. We'll see whether we get Coup Panama. So we know they've got Asia, Middle East, Containment, Romanian Abdication, three unknown cards. We'll see if they coup Panama or Angola. Within the Pakistani war. That's bold. Got a good result though. Can't argue with that. So we will definitely flip Lao Cambodia with a four up card, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so now they resign themselves to not dominating Asia. Frustrating use of a four-up card, but we want to absolutely deny them the possibility. We'll see if they drop Middle East scoring first. I guess... Five-year plan duck and cover would be a, a game-ending play, so I can't safely rob them of a card. Playing into Zaire is good. If they've got decal again, I've got a bit of a problem that I should hope to remedy. So if we blockade away D-Star, we can't hold the card this turn. Yeah, Asia's gone. Fine. Uh, the question is whether or not we use Cambridge 5. We'll see if they get a space. We still don't know two of their cards, so we can't comfortably NATO's not in play, so I think we take Portugal break Greece so he can push into Turkey or flip Greece to prevent brush war. Uh, yeah, that's fine for now. <laughs> Flip 
flattery gets you everywhere, Hisham. Look down on my summit mug, which is forlornly bereft of tea. If he holds on to Middle East scoring any longer, or spaces duck and cover, then I'm definitely going to try and five-year plan him. Because if we pull containment, that's a lark for us. Okay, so that's another known card. Yeah, okay, so we will... We'll take Turkey and overprotect France. Oh no, maybe not. Blockade away D-style. Playing to Turkey. If he doesn't play Middle East scoring now, we'll take a gamble on pulling it before... Oh, shut my mouth. Very good. Okay, so don't need to... It do, I mean, it doesn't matter to him that we don't have Europe. So we'll hold Cambridge 5. We'll play Cambridge 5 now. Uh, we will use five-year plan to move into Cameroon because if he coos, we can get Milops, and if he doesn't coo, we can take Nigeria. I think that's my plan. With De Gaulle gone. Suez is a problem, actually. Got to bear Suez in mind. So maybe two in France, one Cameroon. Oh, boy. Jam in France. So they'll finish with containment and we don't get any benefit with purge, unfortunately. Could give up the China card. And keep purge. With Asia scored. I kind of like that because CIA is gone. Don't need to worry about hand management. And we can purge them again. <sighs> so. I think I like purge. Colonial rear guards we can event whenever we like. Salt we can if we want to take something back. And ditch lone gunmen potentially. But they do still have containment. East European unrest. Cam David and Amit. South Africa unrest and Panama. And those are our nine. Yeah, we'll purge again. Oh, nice. You're going to break West Germany and then drop Europe scoring. If you do, yes, you do. Very nice. Very nice. Well, we will. We will coup Panama. Very nice. We could salt purge. Definitely colonial rear guards next. Ooh, very nice.
Oh, I kind of don't feel like I can do a lot about South America just yet. Uh, we'll put one in. Oh, we've given the China card back, so Thailand's not great. I think maybe we just overprotect Zaire. Very nice. Brazil next. Oh, yep. I guess we event Panama Canal. That gives a coup target. Maybe at this point we salt purge. Or salt junta. Yeah, let's sort Hunter, and then we can get to Argentina. This seems like a weird gambit, but I never event sort enough, so what do I know? Going with a one-op coup. Interesting. Well, let's resolve Lone Gunman now. And if they don't drop DEFCON, we can coup Indonesia back. Or maybe Vietnam for brush war on Thailand. So yeah, we'll definitely coup, get DEFCON down. Big six. Big six. Here it comes. <laughs> no. But we've got Hunter. So if they play into Uruguay, we go Argentina. And we do have Panama Canal returned. We can space South African unrest. If they don't play into Uruguay, we can just save Hunter for next headline. I'm not sure that's ideal, because it does set up domination issues in Asia, but that's quite a long way down the line. And I got rid of Lone Gunman. That's all fine, so we... Reluctantly use Camp David to take Germany back. We definitely want to event emit. Ooh, five or six. Missed it. Happy days. 
So we will space South African unrest. Alas. If they play into Uruguay, we hunter. If they play into Uruguay, we don't hunter immediately, actually, because. Um, so maybe tapping Lebanon is their best play. Denies hunter as well. That denies emit. Yeah, containment breaking um, Lebanon's pretty snazzy. Hmm. Okay, where to? I wasn't paying attention. Brazil and North Korea. Overprotect and overprotect. Okay. So we event emit and look for crappy cards. One small step gone. Ask not duck and cover Olympic and puppet. Neutral chalk cards are fine. I think so. The rest are alright. Okay, so we're probably headlining Hunter, unless we get grain sales. Which we don't. So yeah, Hunter seems straightforwardly the best play. Sad there's no surprises. And those two ops going into Germany when I got dealt Truman, but so it goes. Yes, Suri Alliance don't cover Britain of Truman nuclear subs. Suez nuclear subs. Truman, Brezhnev Alliance. I can cover your Siri. Okay. Likely headlines. Ooh. Muslim Rev, no. Flapau, Quagmire, Allende, Libthy. Brush War. Missile Envy. I think we probably give them Suez with Missile Envy. Yeah, that's not great for us either. But I think we still have to take Argentina. Because we can't give up a coup. Let's coup. Venezuela knowing we have Panama. Big six, please. <laughs> no. Okay, well that messes up Africa as well. But there we go, that's life. Threatens to dominate Asia and make Southeast Asia scoring an unpleasant affair as well. Neatly done. With CIA gone, we can event nuclear subs, of course. Yep, yeah, okay. I think we have to event nuclear subs and hope they don't drop Africa scoring immediately. <laughs> yes. Okay.
Well, that was great scoring card timing. Straight back in. We will have another go. There we go. So if they don't play into Uruguay, we'll set up the rear lines. Self-trapping. Mm -mm. They like it. Okay. We'll definitely coup Brazil. We've just got to go for it now. Wow. Now we're rolling. Rain is good. That makes perfect sense. I think we just finished the turn. Let's try and realign them out of Uruguay. No. Yeah, so I think I'm all right in principle with getting Suez tier with Europe scoring gone. Before Liberty, I guess we use Brezhnev to put three in Mexico, assuming they do nothing to the South America. What do we got? Jam Brazil. Okay, well, we overprotect Brazil with Brezhnev then. Oh, no, wait. We don't overprotect Brazil. We overprotect Venezuela. Because despite holding Panama Canal returned, we don't want to get Spear realigned out of Brazil. All right, ABM Brush War and South America scoring, please. My brush is good. VOA is great. Arms race to Mr. MV. Duck and cover's gone. Let's see. OPEC is worth 3 VP, so it probably goes to space. Flower power after Brush War, probably fine. Fifty fifty brush war on Thailand. I mean missile envy pulling ABM or Muslim Rev is nice. I think I like missile envy. Pulling Marshall Plan is rubbish, US Japan's fine. Muslim Rev ABM is big game. And it also means they have a crappy turn one play. That's good for us. So 
So we take, if we take a coup, if we take a coup, we might be able to voice of America them out of Central America. What are we like? Coup Libya might be able to make OPEC a bit cheaper. Get DEFCON down, get Milops, score arms race, don't even take Libya, that's a shame. So two Mexico, one Guatemala, Nicaragua, and drop Central America for Dom. Jam Panama, and one in... Okay. You do not cover Voice of America. So I think we leave them in the Middle East, but take Central America. We will space OPEC. So we want to brush war before eventing flare power, probably. Still think Thailand is the best leverage. With US Japan still to come out. We'll see if they jam Brazil. That kind of makes us have to play flower power first. It's a little irritating. We also don't have a lot to ask not. Allende, Cult Rev, Kogmeyer, Arab Israel, Socialist Governments. The deck's very blue. So... Well, special relationship thanks to Suez is worth nothing. Getting ready for Southeast Asia scoring. So I think we drop arms race, right? Arms race, brush war. Well, I should probably brush war Thailand first, but there we go. We definitely want to... Oh, Pope goes to space, that's fine. I think we can take our time with one small step gone. So let's brush war Thailand. Come on, big here. Not big enough. That's a real shame. So now I think we do ask not all of these cards. We don't want to event flare power. We don't want a three op OPEC and a one op Panama Canal doesn't do a lot for us. Five, seven, thirteen, nineteen, twenty two, seventeen cards left in the deck. Fifty, I've lost a couple. Surprise, surprise. Uh, oh, Shuttle Dip is currently. And I uh, haven't seen any of those. Uh, Socialist Government's gone. New. No. Uh, what is the other card? I'm going to have to look, because I am... So not how I learned... Not your intervention Olympic Games? Yeah, Olympic Games. There we go. Right, I'm back up with card tracking. So, is there anything we want to do with any of these cards before we ask not? No.
All right. I mean, that's a uh, pretty nice. A lot of four-op guards. And puppet. Martial ABM. And Hilst. So he can AR7 how I learned for 5 VP. But that does run the risk of significant coup warring in South America. So I think overprotecting South America and taking Mexico are the imperatives right now. Have his radio war still in the deck? Oh, there we go. They got the mill ops. So now we puppet governments into Israel, Saudi. Well, maybe we puppet government into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, maybe Afghanistan, Saudi, and Mexico. So Afghanistan, Mexico, overprotect Brazil, overprotect Argentina. And now we definitely don't how I learned on AR7, because they've got Milops. So AR7, we also want to take Guatemala for domination. SOCGOV is annoying, but we can deal with it. So, it looks like we're not going to... Ooh, Quagmire. I'm not going to get to do anything because of Quagmire, but we would like to get out one with how I learned, please. Please. Well, snap. So, we got NORAD, they got US Japan. We got UN Intervention. Cultural Revolution. This is going to be problematic. And they've got Allende for breaking South America in the headline. Uh, Allende. Central and South. They've got Summit. Kitchen debates and OAS are annoying for them. Answer that. And Nixon. Oh, they got. That's kind of lousy for them. So let's reshuffle that. So they got US, Japan, Iende, Summit, Kitchen debates, OAS, Sadat, Nixon, and two unknown cards. So we can missile envy them and get US, Japan. Or we can ABM coup Asia. And then they can use US Japan. But we might be able to level up in that respect. Missile MV, Allende. 
missing ref, sock gov. Missing ref and sock gov. So they've got one unknown card, yeah. Not two unknown cards. So Missile Envy US Japan, if they tap Ayende, they'll have a coup with Missile Envy and then have to use... You know, cooing with Missile Envy is bad for them, isn't it? So, yeah, I suppose it squeezes their Ayende. Yeah, I think this squeezes their AR1 in the best possible way. And we may yet have time to use ABM. Yep, to be expected. So missile MVQ, no goes influence, sensible. All right, so we get sock gov out. We're out, hurrah! So will they now have a coup on Argentina? Oh boy, this is big. Wow. Let's go. They know we've got ABM Treaty. So if we take Chile. Yeah. This way if they... So Flower Power is an unknown card for them. Yeah, if they play into Argentina here, we can take it. Plus, they've only got one unknown card that's not a two or a one-op card. OAS Kitchen Summit Sedan Nixon. So they're also in a tight spot. Unless they use the China card, which slows us down using Cultural Revolution. But we can try and make a bid for control here still. Ooh, you're going to go to Peru as well? You are. Well, we have to go for glory, don't we? Because we can't afford to get realigned out. For glory. Glory! Now, will he use the China card to jam Chile or Brazil? Oh yeah, I have to use all my cards because of your intervention. Going for it. Oh. Very clever. Can't 
do both. So they can coup Colombia with Summit, Kitchen Debate, Sadat, Nixon. Roll a one, please. Big one. Alas. We'll take Central America before they coup there as well. And we'll definitely space Cultural Revolution. Are these Kitchen Debates yet? Was Kitchen Debates operational? I didn't even pay attention. No, embarrassing. So embarrassing. Summit OAS and Sadat. Yeah, we just drop South America. We are not in a position to fight for domination slash control. And we'll space cult rev and hold the China card. Well, it's going to be an interesting late war now. The Middle East is bad. Africa's bad. The Americas are good. Asia's even. Europe's sad. Yeah, I should... Try and play my A game running into the last bit of late war, because this isn't a complete disaster. Yusuri's still in the deck too. That can do some stuff in Asia. But yeah, Middle East is pretty bad. So what out of Summit, OAS, and Sadat? Summit, I guess. Also, that knowing that I'm going to space cult rev, can't take Egypt. I think OAS is the hold. Wow, well, OAS. The very one I said they wouldn't hold. Uh, we'll jam Cuba. And what will you do with an op? I mean, a turn 10 voice of America looks to be our best way to win. Uh huh. Space Cult Rev. Please to VP. Thank you very much. Didn't get to Gaul. But to Gold. Aldrich. Um, Colonial Raid Guards is good here. So is John Paul. AWAX is nice, but Muslim Rev has gone. Camp David is fine if they place it at. So what's the headline? Colonial Raid Guards is probably the headline here. Warsaw Pact has gone, so there's the East European John Paul Solidarity try and control Europe line as well. But I think Colonial Rear Guard's in the headline. We'll see where he goes with those. But knowing we've got De Gaulle is helpful. Oh boy. I mean, hell, if he's got Europe scoring in the headline, that's genius. If he does, the scoring card timing has been so good to him with Europe. 
Europe's been red most of the game, in fact. De Gaulle. Marine Barracks. Iran Contra. Yeah, unbelievable. Don't know what to say about that. Except maybe East European unrest or uh, John Paul would have been better. But uh, Africa is his bigger risk. Can't do it both ways. And we have time to repay Europe before final scoring. Gold Marine Barracks are on Contra. John Paul East Europe. So AWACS coup Nigeria. Try and score arms race. Flip Thailand with China card and we dominate Asia with shuttle diplomacy in play. Ah, oh, dang it. That's fine for now. Really wanted John Paul now, but there you go. Such is life. Well, I'm not going to say that because it kind of tips that I don't have Asia. <laughs> I'm not going to, like, completely tip my hand. So what does he like here? East European unrest or John Paul? We're probably going to have to use arms race now to take France and West Germany back. I think he's got to fear Europe. So East European unrest makes the most sense. And we'll definitely be spacing Marine Barracks. Okie dokie. I think we take France knowing he can do de Gaulle shenanigans and overprotect Thailand. And if he jams West Germany, we use East European unrest. So we know they've got Summit and Sadat. And some unknown cards. Oh, Africa scoring. Oh, well, that's good timing on their part. We definitely start causing trouble with both John Paul, even though Solidarity is gone, and East European unrest. And now we East European unrest, just to put extra pressure on. Uh, 
And we're still hoping for a possible Chernobyl, of course. Space Marine Barracks, Iran Contra end of turn. Ah, boo! Well, I guess Central America then. Headline peaking this late in the game. Yeah, well, that's uh, a given. And we will Iran Contra take West Germany. Can't realise out of Lebanon and Saudi. We will do one Portugal so that Italy can't be brush ward. Europe has uh, cost me more points than it scored me this game, and I've dominated most of the bleeding game. Neatly done. Well, we're headline peaking, and we've got Hunter, which is good. Oh man, but Ortega would have killed us now, so terrorism is an issue. I'm at the three op space spot. Must remember that and all. Uh, right. What is my hand? It is the Betrayer. Into Southeast Asia scoring is bad for us. Oh no, it's good for us now. Isn't it? So Southeast Asia scoring in the headline now, I guess. Ahead of Thailand getting flipped again. Because there is no way I can stop that. That's annoying. And Hunter Pershing. Uranian hostage. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's the ninth special relationship? NATO's not in play. Yeah, it's got to be Southeast Asia scoring before he flips Thailand. And we will be spacing Iranian hostage crisis as the worst of the bunch. Well, that's a shame. We get the China card back, though. Man, harsh. Yeah, fair enough. Do we bank on him not having it? Or do we give him a coup? It's a hell of a gamble, but let's coup Zaire instead. Do we coup? Can we get back into the Middle East? I don't think we can. Oh, man. That feels so unsatisfying. But we've got to make him have it. Ugh. God, that's rotten. It's 
somewhere it's gone. I haven't tracked that properly. So he's still holding Sadat. To hope they don't get a crushing coup on Venezuela. But we do have Hunter in hand. They may just go for Nigeria. But we're trying to set ourselves up for as good a turn 10 as possible. Make this low. Perfect. Arms race is gone. Yeah, so that's fine for now. We have Reagan bombs Libya. I've definitely not tracked my hand properly. Three, four, five, six. De Gaulle. Oh, yeah, I've used Iran Contra. Doi. De Gaulle, Hunter, Iron Lady. Yeah, how I learned Iranian hostage crisis. Yeah. Pershing and Reagan. Yeah, okay. So we're going to space Iranian hostage crisis in case they have one small step. Great. We hold the China card to turn 10 against Ortega, of course. Well, if we can take the Philippines, Asia can't be dominated. Ooh, that's a lot of influence. <laughs> Read my mind. Okay, so Saudi to deny them control. Another one in South Africa. Yeah. We hold De Gaulle as long as possible, of course, against Laduk. Okay, no more peaking. That is a shame for us as well. So we'll use How I Learned to coup Zimbabwe, get our mill ops and hope to set up rear lines on Zaire, unless they immediately counter coup, of course. I think I like holding Hunter as long as possible to drop DEFCON in the headline of turn 10. So yeah, event and repair to goal. Oh boy, that could could be problematic for him, we'll see. So yeah, I kind of like Event Reagan Bombs Libya for the VP. Yep, there's Sadat at last. Coming out the woodwork. And he remembers to overprotect Thailand.
And we'll go Zimbabwe again. We want to threaten the rear line AR7, even if we don't come to do it. So setting up end game. Asia is now a problem officially. The Middle East is so so. But we could try and control South America and dominate Central America. Africa becomes the battleground for turn 10. Ooh, that's a lot of influence to finish. This is this safe. Now, I think we event and repair Pershing. And hold Hunter. But we will go France, West Germany, and Egypt. Can we get over the top with war games? Five. Successfully run a rock war. But we want to drop DEFCON either way. So Cal is the answer. Regardless of what the question might be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one is an American debt crisis. Ooh. So where's a good brush wall for them? Brazil, Venezuela, 60% in. Those are all as good as I can make them. So the last stop is put to work in South Africa for Angola. Miss. Good. So successful on Iraq war for me would allow war games. But I don't necessarily need war games to win. So we definitely go Cote d'Ivoire. If I just respond to everything he does, what happens? I'm controlling South America, dominating Europe. Get dominated in the Middle East, get dominated in Asia. Slightly ahead in Africa, slightly ahead in Central America. So I should win, unless I do something fundamentally stupid. Which is not outside the realm of possibility even at this point. So if he gives me VP, I'll take him. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so we want to run a right war even at a, a 54, a 1 in 3. That's great. Okay. So now we can win with war games, or that's enough to swing the Middle East my way. Yeah, that, that probably, that 1 in 3 was the difference maker, I think. 
Well, let's get to game over or AR7 before I breathe out. Okay, so he coos instead, so that's the game. Yeah, well, I'll take it. Alright, well, a win's a win. Onwards and upwards in Itzel. All right, well, there's nothing more boring than listening to someone type and not talk. So thanks for making it this far. All right. Yeah, so I'm going to celebrate with tea and cake out of the... Well, tea out of the summit mug. Obviously, cake in the mug would be stupid. Uh, yeah, tea and cake with Mr. C. And I will see you again... In a while, I haven't got anything scheduled for the rest of the week, but I don't have anything on my phone, in fact, through next week as well. I think I'm trying to set one up on Halloween or November 1st. The next one that's guaranteed is Monday the 6th of November, which is, what, two weeks away. So we'll try and cram one in between now and then. But thank you for watching. Let me know what you think and how I could have done better. And I will see you again another time. Bye for now.